data scientist is going to need just as many social skills as computer skills. And within the computer skills, they're gonna need just as many programming skills as analytics and statistics skills. And within that, I think R programming was one of my first languages regarding statistical tests. It was back at UC Davis. I still think it's a great first language. Python would be another one I recommend for a first language. My first language was C, and in some ways I don't recommend that. I do think that it's great if you want to learn lower level programming, but these days there's examples like Rust that are more forward thinking. JavaScript is something I use a lot for web development, and I think for visualization and uh, for user experience, it's a great tool. In regards to the databases, I would say a general understanding of SQL, PSQL, and NoSQL will take you a long way. My personal favorite database is Postgres. I think it's an amazing monolith. It's just so huge. There's so many things you can do with it. But within that, plain SQL is accepted within Postgres. A starting point, if you're just starting out, learn plain SQL, start there, get used to APIs, start to understand how all the pieces work together. This is how data is stored. This is how it's shared. This is how it's secured. I'd say little pieces at a time will take you a long way. I remember when I was starting, I had a four page list of this is what I want to learn. And then I stopped looking at it for a year and just took little pieces bit by bit. And by the next year, I had finished two pages of that four pages. And it wasn't stressful. It wasn't overwhelming. I think sometimes when you look at a long list, you can get overwhelmed. My biggest advice is just to take it easy and step by step and try to have fun. So I'm a polygot programmer and I think how you get to that point is you really get to know data structures and algorithms and the core fundamentals. There's a core logic that underlies all programming languages. And the programming languages have different syntax that tailors to different uses, different you know niches in a way, but the core underlying fundamentals, you get the, the algorithms and the data structures and just really get used to them. Or if you're picking up a language, I'd say the first step is get used to the data structures, get used to the foundational algorithms, because it's kind of like when you're building a connect set or something, like there's elbows, there's different pieces, and that's what each algorithm is. There are these really well-made pieces that haven't needed to improve in a lot of cases for many years, just because they're built that way. I do think that the foundations of that will take you further with picking up other languages. In my experience, every job is gonna have different needs. And if you have to learn a new language for a new job, it won't be as hard. It might be intimidating for people, but it's pretty common. I've been working in this field for many years and I come up to new jobs and I have to learn new skills or someone will say, have you tried this Oracle system? And I don't work with Oracle, so being able to generalize and abstract your knowledge in order to learn new skills and tool sets is very important.